got the linoleum ripped up, cut out of here now, and you can really see the damage in this back corner. This is one piece here, so I'll remove it, and then I've got a cut here to remove this portion, so that's the next step. This is the uh, stor storage, uh, the right rear quarter panel, I guess, if you want to call it that corner of the camper so that's the next thing on the list to do all right I'm working my way around getting all this rotten stuff out of here I've had to expose all of this because obviously we have a strip of rotten wood plywood uh, it's not deep but it's bad enough right so and it goes approximately to right there and then we have good wood at least for a little while so I'm gonna have to pull the door out so I've gone ahead and removed all these screws you can see the screw holes here they go all the way up and then there's a little gutter that goes over the top which exposes more sh screws you can see all the way down here and then on the inside of the door frame there's some screws ever so often right that holds that in so now there's one some more I've got one in there holding it right now that's my last one so that's what I'm doing I've got one screw left and then I'm gonna pull this door off um, which will give me access to this under here and hopefully I'll get all that replaced. Door came out, no problem. Uh, pretty easy. So just unscrewed everything, pulled it on out. As you can see, I still have some of the uh, EPDM roofing to trim off there, but I'm waiting. No rush on that. Obviously, uh, butyl tape's gonna have to be uh, replaced, but that's that goes without saying. So that's all gonna be cleaned up shortly. I've got new handles and all that kind of stuff coming in. New lights and reflectors, LED. Just because it was cheap and I needed some anyway, so I went ahead and bought a full kit. I know this thing looks like a wreck, but it. Um, I'm still optimistic that it's all gonna come back together, no problem. I'm sure there'll be hiccups along the way, but the uh, I think it's still gonna work out, so. Uh, the one thing I am curious is how I'm going to reinstall these lag bolts or um, they go into the frame rail, the metal frame rail, screwed through, in this case, um, that two by three or whatever that board is that comes across right here. However, most of the time, wherever there's a metal frame rail running horizontally, there's also a vertical stud that um, is gonna be in the way of me bolting that to it. So I need to figure out a, a solution to be able to bolt that through the frame rail underneath here into this so um, we'll work through it though no big deal we'll find a solution but that's where we're at right now I get all this rebuilt um, got the steps mounted up and secured again which they haven't been secure in a long time rebuilt all of this I had to the way I cut out that rotten wood probably not the best way but I ended up having to patch stuff together so what that means is I had to build more support underneath which took some extra time however um, I'm happy with how it turned out and it's solid as a rock. So whenever we refloor this thing, we will just uh, floor that. This is uh, done out here. And now I'm working on this side. So my goal tomorrow is to get this done, get the framing built inside there, the wall studs, and then continue on um, this way. I did get out, I had to take out the track and motor and everything for the slide out in order to replace some wood. We're making some progress. It's kind of grinding along a little bit, but there is a little bit of light flickering at the end of the tunnel. So that's where we're at. <laughs> 